Okay, so what you should have is something that looks like this. In your subtools, you'll have shadow box still. Uh, this is just on the other layer. And what I'm going to do here is start developing a silhouette. And I'm going to be using this lasso tool to do that. Mask lasso. To use this, hold Control and Command and click and drag around the outside of the form. And you can barely see the skull in the video. I apologize for that. It's just very, it's there, I promise you. All I'm doing is kind of tracing it out and not going all the way to the edge of the form there. Just staying within the actual box here. And I get this. And now on the other side, what I'm going to do is the same thing. This time, on the back side, following the form as best I can. We're just producing a sculpt mesh here, so it's not very important that you know it's perfect. It's just got to be near perfect. That's all. Okay, so now I have something that looks like like this. The only bad thing is I don't have the third completed area here and that is um, the aerial view. So I'm going to have to rely heavily on the ability to just go in here and round up. And I do that by going like this. Remember to keep symmetry on. It's very important. Okay. In this case I'm going to use control and alt. Okay, actually, control and command. That's the lasso tool. There we go. And now I have this. Okay, and that's a good start. I mean, as far as like having a huge block of goo and uh, being able to sculpt on it, that'll work just fine. Now, let's do this. Let's turn off shadow box where we have this. And we're going to smooth out the form a little bit. So I'm going to uncheck that. And this is what I have. Okay. All I do is have to kind of first look at what worst case scenario is. Okay, worst case scenario, it's a big block of goo, okay? What I'm going to do is polish it up, but to do so, I'm going to take and remesh it. Okay, I'm going to remesh this at a lower res, like 56. Remesh all. Okay. And now I have this remesh skin that looks a lot like this. This is a lot better to uh, sculpt on than the other one. I can't go any lower, uh, but I don't need to yet because I'm just developing a form in order to lay down topology. I will need to polish this some. So I'm going to go down here to polish. And that'll just relax a lot of stuff. And then activate symmetry. And I'm just going to smooth out this form too. I'm going to do that without having the other stuff visible. So I can use solo mode here to work just on this one. And I'm just kind of rounding things up, making it less boxy. That way when I start uh, pulling forms and matching it to my image planes, it's not so bad. And just kind of use your imagination of a skull right now. You don't have to use the image planes to do this. Now, as a as an illustrator would, you know, I'd say an illustrator probably would just go and use this form. Um, this is where uh, you separate the illustrator from the actual game artist, 
they would take it and they need topology or the animator would need topology because this big block of goo um, could not transverse into another program. That's why. Okay, once you are done with this process, save as, save it as step three, and then move on to the next video.